Hi, this is Perry from Solitech, and in this short video, I'm going to be showing you a method of how you can export uh, the 3D point coordinates from a DWG or DXF file. So first off, um, I have some third-party um, application here which you can download from the internet. Or, um, the link is in the description below. Uh, alternatively, there are other software um, out there that does uh, a similar method as well. And simply what we're wanting to do is just being able to um, import the DXF or DWG that has our points in there. Um, and then we're going to ex export out uh, based on the points um, to an XYZ file, uh, which we can then just open up in text and uh, go from there. So first off, I'll just have this uh, file, which is called dummy.dwg and click on here. Um, what we have one first look at um, using the DXF to uh, XYZ software is just the filtering options. So if we just click on entities, we want to make sure that we're looking at the points for this instance rather than any other selection criteria there. We're not going to worry about layers, pens, or anything like that. The next thing is just the output format. So in this um, little program, there is a, um, some different output formats that we can choose here, so decimal places and so forth for our coordinates. I'm just going to select raw data output and go OK. And then the, the last thing to do is simply save as or save out the dummy.xyz uh, uh, dummy file and save that out. Um, if it doesn't convert correctly, it will come up with a little error message. You can see down here it successfully converted that out. So just having a look at in our folder here, uh, we've got that XYZ file. Um, if you've got Scanner 3D um, in SOLIDWORKS Premium, you can uh, open that up um, uh, directly through inside SOLIDWORKS. Um, otherwise, we need to open this up and just choose the required program, which is just going to be um, Notepad. So it's going to bring up the Open With dialog box, choose Notepad and go OK. And what we get here is simply all the XYZ and all the points. Now there's 12 points in here, so we can see there's the equally 12 through here. And then you've got your X, Y, and Z um, locations or coordinates. So we just need to copy this. Now another thing um, that we need to use to be able to get these coordinates inside of SOLIDWORKS is a nice little macro that has been um, placed into an Excel spreadsheet. And this was actually previously shown by another application engineer at Solitech, Costa Armin, um, using this XYZ uh, path macro. And we're simply going to reuse this again and just paste in um, all this information. Now what you probably uh, might see is that all of the information gets put into one single um, single cells. Um, so as you can see through here, it's not spread out. So what we need to do is just uh, separate these based on the little commas. So we're going to drop down um, our toolbar in Excel, go across to the data tab and go on text to columns and just select that whole section through here, text to columns. We want delimited next and we want to go uh, comma separated and next and finish. And that's going to uh, place it out um, like we're seeing there, which is nice and easy. Next thing we want to do is um, open up a new part inside of SOLIDWORKS, get that all ready. Once we've got that open, we can bring up the Excel spreadsheet and we've got some methods um, of uh, running these macros. There's three macros here. So the first one we want to use, I guess, in this in this instance, if we want to see all the 3D points from that DWG, is just go plot points. And you can see SOLIDWORKS in the background is uh, plotting all those points in their 3D um, location in space. Um, now, if we're going to use the plot segments and the plot curve options, um, these other two macros, we're going to need to specify what they say is time. Um, and these are just saying uh, which points are uh, come first, second and third and so forth. Um, so for instance, if these aren't in order, you want to make sure that these are all in order um, so that flows nicely. So just to get this started, just one, two and three in here and just select all of this. We can just drag this down just to give it some values. Now that these are in here, we can easily go plot segments um, and in SOLOX it's going to plot all the line, the line segments based on those values in the time um, fields. Same goes for the plot curve. And that's just going to be following the same method as you can see in here. It's placing in a curve um, with all these points as well. Um, I hope this helps with getting your required results. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below or contact us on support. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please check out our channel or the links on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe to receive updates on our recent videos.